Nuchana Thmi uh, roughly translates to English as people living along the mountainside. As Nuchanoth people, we're along the west coast of Vancouver Island. We have one language but various dialects. The ocean has been one of our single largest resources for thousands and thousands of years. You'll often hear our worldview depicted in a saying of Hishuk Ishtsawak, translating loosely to English as everything is one. As well as the ocean and its abundance of resources, we have also used much land resources as well to sustain ourselves through thousands of years of survival here on these lands and waters. Tsitsi Kinkanish, Klako Nas, Klako Ahahahe. Klako nana niksukin. Hopi ichak isak nana niksukin. Hopi ichak isak omiaksu nisma. Klako nas. Within New Chonath, we have roughly 10,000 members. Of those 10,000 members, about 80% of our members live off reserve. We know that First Nations people have been disproportionately impacted by diabetes. We see that within our communities, and we're really working on preventative measures to ensure that we can have healthier communities and healthier members. I work as a dietitian and diabetes educator in all of the New Chalneth communities. I support anyone with diabetes or pre-diabetes or gestational diabetes, so diabetes in pregnancy. And what that looks like is one-on-one -on -one support. We also do some cooking groups. Um, we've had quite a few healthy lunches and dinners. We're also working on a diabetes community champion initiative where we are identifying a community champion and um, providing them with the resources and knowledge to promote diabetes support in their community. When I got diagnosed I had I was strong in the feeling that I'm just gonna keep moving I'm just gonna do what I can you know I said that early on to myself because I, I was scared at home, you know, it, it's, it's easier than when you travel out. Changing and thinking differently about what you eat, how it's prepared, and, and what you put into your mouth. When you become diabetic, diagnosed, you start to learn more about how things work, how your body works. It's all, it all works together, you know. Healthy mind, healthy heart. Keep moving. That's my philosophy. I've been working on myself for about a year now. I had a hard time with uh, diabetes, really hard time. One of the nurses at work for NTC started helping me and, and she set me up with uh, dietitians. She really helped me and diabetes specialists and doctors. And, my new doctor in town here is really happy with what I'm doing. I used to be taking up anywhere from 12 to 14 different different medications, and plus the insulin. But now I'm down to less than half of that. So I go for walks on a nature trail that's close to my home here. Makes me feel good to be out there. Historically, the food that we ate and harvested from the ocean, for example, for thousands and thousands of years is much different than the food that I have access to living away from home, living off reserve, and living away from my traditional territory of Heshkwit. So we have to understand that colonization has had an impact on our health. And uh, one of the best ways we can begin to decolonize is to exert our rights to exert our rights and to harvest from the bounty from our lands and to put those nutrients and those medicines into our bodies. And um, that in itself is a huge part of decolonizing. I've been doing this kind of stuff for, geez, since I was a tiny little boy with my grandparents, harvesting seafood. So 
better part of my life has been on the water. These guys are going to look for a kite and see him putting his screwdriver there. He's prying them off the rock. And uh, Frenchy in the black is going to try and knock some muscles off with the uh, with the gooseneck barnacles on them. But uh, that, that's the medicine for, for myself to get out and uh, be in the fresh air. Steam ease open and you could eat them. Wow. Feel that that's solid. Some people prefer it like this rather than putting it on the stove. Our 14 new Chonoth nations span a vast, vast distance and some of our communities only being able to be reached by float plane or water taxi or gravel road uh, makes it very difficult. One of the challenges for people living with diabetes is accessing specialty services, specifically endocrinology services. We have an A1C machine that we can bring to all the New Chanath communities that test blood sugar levels just like a lab. We have been working on a relationship with a virtual endocrinologist, BC Diabetes, so myself or a nurse can create a space over Zoom or over the telephone in the community for the client to visit with the specialist. I also assist anyone who's looking for support in diabetes technology and can support any questions around medications or insulin in regards to diabetes. Okay, there's my meter. It's at 6.5, not going over 7. That's where I like it, between 5 and 7. It'll drop down to 5 later on. And if it goes a little less than 5, then I'm going to have a snack. We have been working with the Tofino Euclid Culinary Guild to distribute donated boxes for New Chalneth community members in the Tofino area. They are a mixture of fresh fruits and vegetables and sometimes peanut butter, eggs and other healthy proteins. We also do some healthy lunches and dinners, also some cooking classes. Karen Roads, done on thin little seaweeds, smoked salmon and Caesar salad, with lots of garlic in there. That's what I had for lunch today. One of New Chalneth Tribal Council's partners is the National Indigenous Diabetes Association, and we've been working together on a number of health promotion resources, including a diabetes calendar with recipes from New Chalneth community members, as well as some healthy lifestyle videos. It's really in the act of doing it. Uh, it's in the act of going out and harvesting. It's in the act of cutting up your fish once you've caught it. It's in the act of jarring it up and that connection to food. Having access to our food is a big part of that. This is the wood I use right here. It's alder, eh? Alder and maple. And uh, that's what I use to smoke the fish with. The cedar to start your fire up. And it starts up good. 
Your spiritual health. It's so important. And what feeds that, you know, is finding peace. You know, you have to find your own peace. And that, that's, well, I know that about our people. And our people meaning not only all of our people here at Sahana, but all across Canada. You know, you look at all the indigenous communities, so similar, you know, similar stories. And what really keeps us whole is that is our spirit. The Nutella Trouble Council is involved in a variety of research projects with SFU and UBC. One that we are currently pursuing is the vision of a diabetes wellness retreat. And there we would have traditional healers and knowledge holders and elders combined with myself and nurses and physicians to create a space for sharing all the knowledge around diabetes and allowing that knowledge translation to happen. And here I sit in life and I am, I am in pain, I am hurting. I'm, I did not know there was I did not know there was somebody always there to help us out of this pain and stuff. There, there are so much people that are out there to help you. But you, they don't come looking. They don't come looking for you. You got to go look for them. The Nutalnith are strong and resilient. It takes a team to support diabetes, and NTC is working on expanding our team of dietitians, nurses, and support staff. We know we have the responsibility to reach out to all community members living with diabetes, and we are developing the resources to protect and support future generations.